The woman who police say lied about her baby being in the back seat of a stolen car faced a judge today. 28-year-old Nicole Benton faces charges after leading police on a massive search. Local 12's Megan Moore has a recap of what happened in court today. The charges Nicole Benton is facing include inducing panic and also making false alarms. Both are felonies. She's also charged with obstructing official business. It was yesterday when police arrested her after investigators say she lied about her three week old baby being in the back of her car when it was stolen yesterday on Hopkins Street. There was a massive search to find the infant, but police say it turns out the baby was with Benton the entire time. In court this morning, we learned the child is staying with a relative. One question the judge had is whether Benton had any connection to the people who allegedly stole her car. Her twin sister spoke on her behalf, saying there's no connection. The judge also wanted to know why and how this all happened in the first place. My understanding, Your Honor, is that talking to my client, she says that when she called 911, she indicated the, the, the circumstances and that the child was not in the car. She knew where the child was. Uh, from, oh, from my understanding, they that information. Well, that's, I'm going to ask for the 911 call from the city and try and determine what was said and not said, and if it's possible that in in a state of panic that there was maybe some miscommunication that had occurred. Now, police have told me that Benton told officers on scene that the baby was inside of the car, and they tell me she stuck by that story. The judge set the bond for both of the felonies at twenty thousand dollars, or the option for Benton to wear an electronic monitoring device. The judge also says she is to have no contact with the child unless supervised by Job and Family Services. We spoke briefly with the family after court and didn't have much to say aside from the fact that they're just happy she will be able to get out. Back to you. And the case will go to a grand jury later this month. Officers took two juveniles into custody today, Thursday rather, and charged them with receiving stolen property related to Benton's car actually being stolen. They both appeared in juvenile court today. Only local 12 cameras were there.